This is CBS 7 News at 10. Your eye on West Texas. He loved life. Had a beautiful wife and a wonderful family, a bunch of, bunch of good dogs, horses. He, he loved life. And, and uh, he just showed that. And, uh, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. Now the County Sheriff Jerry, Gary Painter sharing his thoughts. Law enforcement agencies are mourning the loss of one of their own tonight. Earlier this afternoon, Deputy Sheriff Sergeant Michael Naylor was shot while serving a warrant to an accused child molester. CBS 7's Lauren Lamman joins us now live from the Midland County Sheriff's Office. Lauren, how did all of this unfold? Jay Tatum, this was an almost four hour standoff. I arrived to a very active scene just 30 minutes after the shooting happened. Of course, this is not how anyone wanted this to end, but officials say that they are at least very happy that they have the suspect alive and in custody. He will be housed at the Midland County Jail and charged with capital murder, as well as numerous other charges. It all began here on the northwest side of Midland at a home just off of Highway 158. Subject re refused to respond to the verbal commands of the officers refused to respond to the request of the officers to give himself up. Deputy Sheriff Sergeant Michael Naylor was serving an arrest warrant to 36-year-old Dan Higgins for an accused sexual assault of a child. Sergeant Naylor was airlifted to the Middle Memorial Hospital uh, where he was placed on life support and where he did pass away. This is the first time the Midland County Sheriff's Office has lost one of their own while on duty. The standoff lasted almost four hours, with law enforcement shooting blasting caps at Higgins' home and preparing a tank to break down the walls. And it, it was very slow moving. Uh, we brought out many of our different units, trying to see if we could negotiate um, with the suspect, uh, but we weren't able to make contact with him until about 4.30 p.m. Higgins self-surrendered an hour later. This is a very sad day for the Midland County Sheriff's Office. Sergeant Naylor worked for years with the Sheriff's Department only after serving for the United States Air Force. She went overseas several times and, and, now, and now this and uh, would ask the, uh, ask the people to uh, keep his family in their prayers. They're going to need it. Sergeant Naylor was also very active with the mental health unit here at the Midland County Sheriff's Department. And actually, Sheriff Painter said that he was actually the one who started it all. Friends and family say that Naylor was a very happy man, always smiling and always willing to help people. For now, live in Midland, I'm Lauren Landman, CBS 7 News. Lauren, thanks very much. We're also learning more about the suspect responsible for the sergeant's death. 36-year-old Dan Higgins surrendered to police today after an hours-long standoff. Family and records show he has a history with drugs. He was arrested back in 2013 for possession of a controlled substance. Family members tell CBS 7 he is using methamphetamines. They say they were shocked to learn recently that he had been molesting a young girl for years.